what's going on guys bms back with another video you know what it is all right guys so today i'm going to be trying something different let's go ahead and get into this video so here we go here are a list of things i expect men to do in marriage number one pay the rent mortgage and utilities so that's like the rent the water and like the electric you know what i'm saying and then if we have a home like the property tax and the mortgage insurance all that good stuff number two to do most of the cooking i cook but i don't really like to cook so it's really a plus when i meet a guy who is really good at cooking and there are actually a lot of men that are great cooks number three the dishes um i don't like doing the dishes so it would be great to have a man <laughs> that just took that chore off of my hands because i don't like to do the dishes so you want me to cook you want me to clean you want me to pay the mortgage you want me to do all of the above what are you doing what value are you providing to the situation all i'm hearing is me 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 how am i benefiting from this marriage you see these types of women don't realize that relationships and marriages are a two-way street a relationship or marriage is an exchange of value i'm bringing something to the table you're bringing something to the table there is no value that she's mentioning but let's continue number four do the laundry and when i say do the laundry i don't just mean like put the clothes in the wash i mean like the whole process put the clothes in the wash put the clothes in the dryer put them up iron what needs to be iron fold what needs to be fold like do the whole thing from a to z number five take out the trash i don't like to take out the trash number six any yard work or housework now he doesn't necessarily have to like fix it like if there's like a broken pipe or something like he doesn't have to fix it but he does have to be responsible and calling whoever to make sure that it is fixed so it's just his responsibility number seven upkeep the car so that includes any tire changes that need to be made any oil changes that need to be made um putting gases in the car making sure the cars are washed like the whole process of upkeeping the cars from a to z um number eight is date nights at least twice a month but that actually goes into like any form of recreational activities so if we're going kayaking if we're deciding to take a camping trip if we're deciding to go to a theme park just at least two dates and or recreational activities per month and number nine an annual honeymoon um i do want to be one of those couples that takes a honeymoon every year in a different location i think that's super cute so definitely an annual honeymoon and then a separate family vacation um so that's two big trips per year so a honeymoon and a separate family vacation and yes i expect for him to pay for it let me know what you guys think in the comments if i'm gonna be out here working 60 to 80 hours a week bringing in the bacon fixing the car cleaning i need to know what i'm getting out of this deal you see these types of women live in this delusional world where they can have these lofty expectations for a man but the moment a man says lose some weight put the fork down work on your attitude you know hire a personal trainer the moment you mention any sort of accountability that these types of women need to do to fulfill their end of the bargain, oh, they ain't doing that. It's so funny that every time a woman says these are the things that she desires in a relationship, a man that cannot provide those things all of a sudden asks her, why does she deserve those things? Here's the thing. Even if I was to lose weight right now, you still wouldn't be able to be in a relationship with me at all because you don't look like the type of guy that can provide the things that I want from a relationship. So stop trying to use weight and looks as a determining factor about whether I deserve to be treated the way I deserve to be treated. It's not going to work. Sorry. The way you look matters to a man. And for you being a woman, attracting a man you have to be that very thing that you're trying to attract. So for a man to say, you know, 
What do you bring to the table? Work on your weight. It is valid because that would incentivize a man to perhaps step it up. That would incentivize a man to work extra hours, maybe get a second job, maybe even start a family with you. Who knows? Maybe get married. Why would a man put himself in a situation to get married to a woman that is loud, aggressive, and overweight? There's no incentive in that. And I'm not trying to be mean about it. I'm just trying to be honest. You see, these types of women will never take accountability. They'll never say to themselves, I'm the issue. Maybe I need to work on myself. Oh, I ain't getting the results that I want. All right, let me get to work. Nah, you ain't going to hear that. It's always going to be the man's fault for why they aren't getting the outcome that they want. And if a man speaks up about it, they're going to try to shame you. You see, a lot of these modern women don't realize being fit, feminine, and friendly is your superpower to a man. A soft, delicate woman in shape can disarm any man. All right, guys, let me know what you think in the comment section below. Let me know if you like this format and until next time.